So I don't usually make and post videos like this or rants or whatever on my Facebook because my personal life is my personal life. But this doesn't have to do with my personal life. This has to do with fucked up shit in the world. So I woke up. I'm obviously, I'm in my Andalini's, you know, I was ready to go. Went, there was an order. Another guy showed up, so I didn't take the order. It was around lunchtime, I was like, I'm gonna knock out some door dashing. You know, pick up some cash, fill up my tank. And before that, I went to McDonald's. I went in there. I was having troubles with the app, so I had to talk to the manager. And they all know me because I've been there so much door dashing that we all just like bullshit and stuff. You know, like I got good rapport with him. And there was this older man, probably in his late 50s, early 60s. And one of the employees walked up to him. And I didn't catch what was whispered to him. But I caught the look on his face. And it was just spite hateful. Like, you know when you can tell how somebody's saying something. Like how it's coming across from their body language. He wasn't saying anything nice to this gentleman. And... The guy immediately started freaking out saying that the dude said he was going to stab him. The guy walked down behind a corner of McDonald's. He was one of the employees there. The guy that whispered to this older gentleman. And he came back. And the guy was so scared because apparently the guy had taken a knife and hit it behind his back. Like tucked it down under his shirt and pants. And he was actually going to do this shit because he started walking back towards this guy like and you could see the fucking you could see it in his eyes kind of thing and like those of you that know me know that like I've been a correctional officer I've done bounty hunting I've worked at hospitals and hospitals might not sound like hard work but you see a lot of fucked up shit you see a lot of abuse you see a lot of you know just bad world shit but this poor man was so scared he walked behind the counter and they probably had this bucket they were sanitizing with but it was big enough to cover his chest area and he was just holding it in front of him and I went up there and he had crossed the line for, to the McDonald's workers at this point because he went around where the workers were to grab the bucket threw the water on the floor and was holding it up for protection there, were, there wasn't any, like, aggression in this guy. It was just fear in this man. And I went up. I put my hand on his shoulder. I was like, listen, I know you're scared. But getting closer to the bad situation with the guy walking towards him is not the way to handle it. I was like, come on, man. Come back here with me. The managers are there, too. But I was doing most of the talking. And I had got my food before him. The managers were talking to him about the situation. And I invited him to sit down with me and have lunch with me. Turns out this poor man had lost his wife three days ago and he was just in tears. Like, <laughs> and then he has some punk ass kid coming up saying he's going to put a knife in him. The world's a fucked up place, man. Like, I don't get it. Like, I sat there and I talked to this guy and it was really nice talking to him because I was able to, like, cheer him up a little bit. And I said, listen, he, he took some deep breaths, he calmed down, and we were just, I was like, the world's a fucked up place, you lost your life, a lot of people were just looking out for themselves, With after COVID, everything went to shit, people were broke, you know, there's not as much money and stuff to go around for most people, you know, we were kind of talking about that, and I told him, I'm really sorry you lost your wife, that must be hard, because... I'm currently in a relationship, or I'm living with somebody where I thought I would lose them multiple times over this last year calling the ambulance on them. And I can't picture having, not having that person in my life anymore. And I told him, even when this world's so fucked up, and even with his wife gone, that he can still put good in this world. And his wife would be proud of him. That just because most of the world's fucked up, we got to keep going on and doing good. We got to be the ones that make the change. We got to be the ones that set the example. And it was really weird talking to this man that had probably 20 years on me and being able to comfort him. But I feel like that 
in all aspects, like my lifestyle and everything else. All you people on my Facebook page, I feel like all of you support me. Like, you might not agree with my opinions, but you might not like some of the things I say, but there's a mutual respect that I feel like you should give people with differences. <laughs> and I feel like I have that with my Facebook friends, and I appreciate all of you guys. And I have a very short list for that reason. Because it's quality, not quantity for me. So, I just want to post this and say, go out there, put some good out there, man. Make somebody's life a little better, you know? Put a smile on somebody's face and just fucking do what you can to do a little bit of good today. Because you don't know what other people are going through. I didn't know that white man's wife died. I didn't know, you know, he was in a dangerous situation, and, but, and that was bad enough, but on top of that, three days ago, losing the love of your life. How the fuck can I understand that? I ain't, I ain't lost a wife, I ain't, you know, I lost family, but somebody I, at his age, I don't know how long they'd been together, but, you know, they could have been together longer than I was alive, and to lose that person so important to him, <laughs> Like, you just don't know what other people are going through, so... Fucking try to do something different. Try to make a change. Try to fucking build somebody up today. I just... <laughs> I'm gonna end my rant now. That's it. If you actually made it through all seven minutes of this, I appreciate it.